welcome back to my channel if you've been here a while or welcome to my channel if you're new before we get into the video make sure you subscribe to the channel click the bell notification so you don't miss any videos like this one give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed check out my instagram my tiktok and my youtube shorts that is all linked down below in the description box down below and it is on the screen somewhere so go check that out as well in today's video i'm going to be doing a different video than i have ever done before i'm going to teach you some beginner asl signs so i took an elective in seventh grade at a charter school that only went to eighth grade but anyway that's besides the point I took the elective then and i'm gonna show you some beginner signs i learned and then i've been learning from people on instagram because i have a Twitter account but i'm not allowed to have it on my phone it's run by somebody else but anyway i have been learning some beginner signs from actual deaf people so if you're ever on instagram or tiktok or youtube or anything like that make sure that they're really deaf they're on Instagram or TikTok, they're going to have deaf in their bio. And that's how you know that they're actually deaf. Because I, people who aren't deaf wouldn't put that in their bio, I don't think. If they are, they're a little bit crazy. Anyway, the first beginner sign I want to show you is... You're going... That's the first thing you would ever say is introducing yourself. So this is American Sign Language before I do this. So if you're not in America, this isn't really relevant for you. Because there's over like 300 sign languages, I believe. And even countries have their own different one. Like, what I'm about to show you would not work in Australia or England. Even though they speak English too. And it will, and, but this also works in Canada, parts of Canada too. Because I don't, I don't know why. I've always wondered that why they, there's not a Canadian sign language. That they use American. Which I think is cool. So first, you're going to take your dominant hand. And you're just going to have it like this. And you're going to put it on the side of your head, like, about right here. So if you're left-handed, do it like this. If you're right-handed, do it about right here. Just go out once. And that is, hello. Again, hello. Then you're going to take your non-dominant hand and have it flat like this, which is my left hand. But if you're right-handed, do this. And you're going to take your dominant hand and you're going to stick it right here on this part and slide it. And there's why it won't work. And even when this goes, this is in bsl british sign language this is actually the letter h but in america it means nice nice or if you're left-handed it's nice nice and then to meet you're just going to take your fingers and do this with them and then to meet and then point you and all together now now hello nice to meet you and then you are going to say my oh my this is my name is there is a sign for is like this is but you don't do that you stick your two fingers like this dominant over non-dominant and just go name is and then you're going to finger spell your name and these are the letters i'm going to show you how to finger spell your name so the alphabet is a B, C, D, E, F, G. It doesn't, you're just going to do this and then flip it. It doesn't really matter if your thumb is there either this way or this way. But you're not going to have it flipped this way. I'm just showing you guys. I'm going to have it flipped like this. G, H, I, J, and then K, you're just going to go like this. Okay. L, M is like this, N, O, P, you're going to be doing this, but you're going to face it the, the way you see right now, P, Q is the same as G almost, so you're going to do this, but you're going to put it down instead of to the side, down, Q, R is just crossing your fingers like this, S, and then T is done like this, but the other way of doing T that I've seen is like this. I'm not sure if this or this is more correct, but I've seen this more often. So you can do this, but you're going to see this a lot more. Then the letter U is just like this. V, W is like this. X, Y, and Z. And when you're signing the alphabet, you can just t do this and draw a Z in the air with your pinky if you're signing the alphabet. But if you're signing the word zoo, don't do that. 
or any other word that starts with the letter Z, don't go like this, because that can, that looks weird, because they're like, are you doing Y or Z, like, don't do that, if you have two letters in your name that are the same letter, okay, so, now I'm going to move on, if you have two Z's that are right next to each other in, in the name, in, or in your name, or in any word, then you're not just going to go, because people might not be able to tell that you're doing two Z's. So what you're going to do is kick two fingers like this, bend them like this, and then draw a Z in the air. And that's how you would indicate that there's two Z's in the word or in the name. So now that you know how to spell your name, pra practice what I've showed you. So, all together now. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is, and then fingers spell your name. And now, I have a challenge for you guys that I would like you to try. So now that you know the hello, nice to meet you, my name is, fair spell your name. I want you to film yourself. I want you to film yourself doing that. And I want you to smile the way you would if you were meeting somebody for the first time. And now I'm going to teach you the next part that I want you to film after you film that part. You're going to make a sorry face and do this. So, take your hand like this, bend it, and go out. And then you're going to do... And then you're going to make a fist like this, SOS, and do a circular motion twice on your chest. And you're going to make a sorry face while you're doing that. And that says, I don't know American Sign Language, I'm sorry. But if you know a little bit, you would, instead of saying, I don't know ASL, that's if you don't know any. If you do know, know a little bit, like me, I'm not fluent, I only know a little bit, you would say, I know a little bit, I know, sorry, a little bit ASL. And that's what I want you to film if you know a little bit. But if you are learning it, you would say, I'm learning it like this your hand like this and then you're going to make your hand like this shape and have it touch your forehead or like in your forehead region like this like i'm learning like i'm learning a s l or i'm learning sign or i'm learning sign i've seen this for sign i've seen this for sign or i know little sign or i know little sign i'm not sure if that's correct this i'm not sure if you do it twice or what but that's another way that i've seen people do it <laughs> or if you know asl you're fluent or you know some you would say i know asl so now i taught you that go film yourself doing that and make sure your face matches what you say because just like your tone your facial expressions and asl mean the same thing as your tone of voice if you say something angrily then obviously the person knows that you're angry about it if you make a mad face while you're signing something, then they're going to take it as you're mad about that. So go film yourself saying, hello, nice to meet you. My name is, and then I don't know, ASL, sorry, or I know ASL, or I know little ASL, or I'm learning ASL. And then you can add correct me at the end if you want, whatever. Just go film yourself doing that in a solid color shirt, even though I'm not wearing one right now. Go find a shirt that's not really distracting and that would point focus away from you and a background that will not point focus away from you. Go film yourself doing that and then save it to your favorites album. And then if you meet a deaf person or anyone who uses it, people who aren't deaf use it too. So if you come if someone does this like, I'm deaf or deaf, these are the two signs for deaf, so deaf, deaf, or hearing, they say, I'm deaf, or, or, you go like this, or, or anything like that looks like that, then you can just play them the video, like, all the people are going to go like, okay, here's my video, and I'm actually going to show you an example of one right now, that I have filmed myself, and then you can, yeah, you can use that. And then, here are some other sentences that you can say, like, my favorite food is, or what's your favorite food, or ask someone their name, and those kinds of things. I'm going to show that to you right now, so, 
your name what that's the direct translation but in english we would say what's your name so what's your name that's how you ask somebody their name oh, together now what's your name and that's all you have to ask and then you would respond with my name is and then spell your name so to ask somebody what their favorite color is you would say your favorite color what i think that is the correct way but if i'm wrong let me know in the comments i'm still learning <laughs> and then your favorite you're just doing this and then tapping your chin twice favorite food what your favorite movie i think that's the sign for movie i'm not sure movie what and you could say anything if you learn a sign for you could learn food movie anything asking some other favorite anything your favorite blank what and those are some beginner sentences and then here's another one if you want to ask somebody their age how how you just shake your hands like this how old are you that's what i believe the sign is but if i'm wrong correct me i'm still learning it and then here are the numbers so if you want to tell someone your age you would say i'm blank years just shake your two hands like this years old and that's how you tell someone how old you are now i'm going to show you the numbers because you might think they are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that might, i think that's british sign language like i know that this is six and british sign language seven eight nine i don't know that's bs up but I, i'm not i don't live in england so i'm not really sure but we're doing a sound today so the numbers are one two three four five six not this six having them t your thumb and your pinky touch seven eight nine thumbs up and then shake it left and right slightly ten eleven i'm just doing this but but this part should be facing you not the camera i'm just showing you guys how i'm doing it this is what i'm doing but flip it around like this. eleven twelve is the same way but with two fingers twelve thirteen i'm just doing this thirteen and then fourteen is the same way but like this fourteen 15 i'm just doing this 15 16 I, I think that's how you do it 17 i think 18 19 i believe and then 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and then you can probably figure out the rest between 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can figure out 30 through 99 if it's a double number like 33 or 99 or anything like that 33 44 55 66 77 88 99 and this is 100 i i believe correct me in the comments anything i do in this video that is wrong feel free to correct me in the comments because I'm still learning and I want to know what the right way to do all of this is. And that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want more of these, comment down below. I'm thinking about doing more of these, but I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch one of these two videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you don't miss any videos like this one.